Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ariana and today's video is going to be very fun and exciting because I'm going to be talking about this new show. Well, actually it's not a new show. Let me not say that. Okay. <laughs> Let me not say that. So this show has been out for quite a few years, I believe, because I just noticed that um, they have some episodes or clips from episodes that were from like two years ago or here on YouTube. But anyway, so the show is called My Main Problem and it's on the t the network um, BLK, All Black. My hair's damaged and falling out. Chemical burns, psoriasis, bald spot, I hate it. I love the concept of the show. I really love that we have a show dedicated towards us as black women to be able to go on and really talk and basically explain our concerns that we've had with our natural hair. You know, some people have come on there and they're speaking of how they were, grew up with their natural hair not being taken care of or um, just how their hair is damaged now, you know, and they want to change that what they want to start loving themselves, you know, better um, in regards to how their natural hair looks. So I love the concept of bringing these women on here talking about their experiences, because it definitely relates to a lot of women out here. And I'm just super excited that I found the show. Secondly, the show is also on YouTube here. If you guys want to check it out, I'll probably try to have some clips up in here for you guys to be able to see, um, you know, some of the things that I'm talking about or discussing in this. But I did want to talk about this particular episode that I did see. And I don't know if there's any other free episodes on here, but I did catch this free episode here on YouTube and I was able to watch it. It's about 30 minutes, like a regular TV show. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to talk about the show and just give you guys my thoughts on what I saw and how I felt from watching the show. So I did want to talk about the hairstylist. Um, he's a great hairstylist. I've seen him. I've seen him before. I don't know if he's been on Tyra Banks show, you know, um, what's it called? America's Next Time Model. I feel like he was on there at one point, but he's a really well-known hairstylist okay um and he gets girls looking right he gets us looking good looking nice okay the thing is though these two women came on the show and their hair was extremely extremely damaged i'm gonna be able to play the section right here for you guys to be able to see who i'm talking about but they came in there and their hair was extremely damaged they were very insecure about wearing their natural hair you know because of the severity of the damage that they've gone through i started dancing professionally for the nba mm -hmm. and i walked into my first audition my hair was slicked back in a bun just like this mm -hmm. i thought i was it i walked in everyone had their hair down curls and i just felt like I was out of place. I felt like I wasn't going to make the team just because of the way I looked. After I made the team, thank goodness, they said, we have to change your look. You can't wear your hair like this. Mm. And I had to get extensions put in. My mom would say, you're going out with your hair like that? And I didn't feel pretty. This coloration here, your entire hairline has been chemically burnt from glue. Literally, you have bald spots right here. All these years of putting on these chemicals and these wigs, and I'm gonna be honest with you, this is some serious damage. It's hard to really find a stylist, a hairstylist that will really understand natural hair, really be able to explain it to you in detail on how your, your scalp is, to your hair strands, to the strength of your hair, to how to particularly take care of the type of curls that you have, to notice if there's any differences in curl pattern in your scalp, different things like that. So when I first clicked on it, I thought I was really going to see some cutting, some trimming, um, maybe a big chop, you know, putting some foam in the hair to make some curls come out. And unfortunately, I didn't see that. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it because the young ladies still look beautiful at the end of the show. They still had some banging hairstyles, but I don't think it dedicated to the root of the problem, if you understand what I'm saying. Meaning that I don't think it dedicated to these women being able to truly love how their natural hair looks. So, and that's kind of, I feel like, what they came in there for. You know what I'm saying? So... 
number one, the Dallas Cowboy cheerleader that went in there. And I believe she was a former cheerleader. So I don't think she's active now. Okay. I don't think she's active now. If I'm wrong, I'm mistaken. But I believe she was a former Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. And she went in there um, and her hair was severely broken off and, you know, in the back definitely broken off in the front like when you're here when you have like almost like no edges or anything there you really shouldn't put tension on that area like you really should just moisturize oil you know and just really take care of that area to hopefully try to regrow that hair um you know and just be very gentle with it but in the show he did dedicate to actually giving this young lady braids and which is a natural hairstyle but even those braids I feel like shouldn't have been done on how damaged her hair was you know you don't want to just throw them into stuff sometimes like but then again they were coming over for a complete makeover so they knew that they were going to look completely different but I don't it and you know what I'm going to say this because Maybe they just didn't show the clips of him cutting, trimming, and doing all the, you know, all the work to their hair. But then again, they did not do that. Because I, I really don't believe that he cut or trimmed their hair, you know, at all. Because it, it, she, I felt like she needed a lot of stuff cut off. You know, you might not have to go completely short like I did, right? I'm not saying that you probably had to go do a big chop on her, but I mean, it was like, he didn't, he didn't let go of anything, you know? And when something is completely damaged, you should just let it go and start brand new. And when you're coming in for a makeover, that's what I felt that, you know, should have happened. But it's, it's, I'm not a hairstylist. I'm not even a natural hairstylist. I'm just a girl that wears her hair natural and just knows how to take, of her, take care of her own hair. I am never really even take care of nobody else's hair. So these are just my opinions from watching this episode, you guys. So... Make sure y'all not taking nothing to heart or none of that. Like, this is literally just my own thoughts, but, um, you know, about what I saw. So, the thing is, he also attached extensions on her hair. Now, I honestly feel like that is, like, so normalized. Like, when somebody comes in for a makeover, we... And, and, you know, I don't, I don't think what I use, I don't think it's like normal for people to always just put extensions in, but I think that when women don't like their own hair, we tend to add hair in. Yeah. I don't know because I understand that like natural hairstylists, like people that literally dedicate to natural hair. And I know there, there's this young, there's this guy on here, um, um, African hair god i think i forget his i forget his um username but if i find it i'm gonna definitely put it right here for you guys to see so because he he actually commented on one of my um old videos that i had up about hair natural hair and loving your natural hair which i loved i was like oh my god he commented on my video but anyway y'all so basically he is so good with teaching you about your natural hair helping you love your natural hair because he actually dedicates his whole entire um salon to natural hair and i'm sure he probably does uh you know other stuff but i know that his page on youtube is dedicated towards natural hair so he knows about you know uh, the strength in your hair follicles. He knows about the different types of curl patterns. He understands, you know, how to enrich our hair. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm not saying that the hairstylist on this show doesn't know natural hair because some of the things he was saying did make sense. But then again, I feel like when you're trying to help somebody grow out of old trauma, you know, or old things that happened to them, you have to give them a face of the thing that they're most scared of. Like, I really would have liked to see her get a big, like a chop, you know, chopping off a lot of the, the hanging short, the hanging hair, because most of that was just dead, you know, and just fix that up really cute. I think if he would have gave her some curls or something with her own natural curl pattern, it probably would have looked nice because then again, you guys don't understand, like when you cut your hair shorter, you're going to start seeing curls that you've never seen before. I'm just saying, like, for me personally, I did not know that my hair could get as curly as it actually gets. Like, when I pull my hair out from being super curled up, 
there it is. And this is actually from my big shop that I just had in December. So, and then when it pushes back in, this is what a lot of us don't like. We don't like it when it's super short and tight, but that actually shows how actually healthy your hair is, you guys. So yeah, I'm just, I was just shocked, you know, to see that he did that with um, the first girl, um, you know, especially of her, of him saying that she didn't have much of anything all around here you know and to put tension on these areas i don't know i just i don't know what you guys think like this is definitely something up for discussion i want you guys to go watch it because it's so interesting to watch um and the second girl that went in she so how long have you been wearing wigs for about five years now really mm -hmm. Because people see your natural hair? I never show my natural hair just because I'm so ashamed of the harm that I've caused to it. So from seven up until I was about 14 years old, my mom would put the relaxers in, I would say probably like every two months, just to be able to comb through it. That was the only solution that we had. Once I got to high school, I like took it into my own hands. So I started, you know, relaxing it myself. I started bleaching it, dyeing it wearing all these funky styles and it just really wore on my hair. Now this is- She is an influencer, I believe. And she's a beautiful girl as well. Um, and she actually had beautiful hair up under her wig that she was wearing. So she um, came in there and she was distraught because she grew up with her mother actually giving her a relaxer, you know? And these are things that I used to say in all my videos, y'all. Like I used to always say, Women are growing up with relaxers. We're not being taught as a young child how to take care of our natural hair. So we're going into things that are way easier. But then again, it's actually more upkeep when you get your hair relaxed. Like for um, this hairstylist, he actually did relax her hair. Let me tell you guys, it, it was just like, it was hard for me to watch that part because it's like, oh my gosh, she was just crying to you about having to keep like how her mom relaxed her hair and it's been damaged ever since because she had to keep it up and now you're putting a relaxer back in it and so it's like you're bringing the trauma back because he she came in there you know with the wig going he took down the braids then the wig was sticking to her edges so that was breaking off her edges as well you know so she was also dealing with you know some hair loss around here and so when you deal with that you have to be gentle to the area i just feel as though he shouldn't have relaxed her hair i mean i would i just stay away from relaxers period like that's me personally you could do what you want like if it works for you works for you it's just best to be educated and knowing what's good and what's not good for your hair. Especially if you're coming to a professional who is supposed to help your natural hair. I don't think that that job was necessarily done, you know, how a, a, a natural hairstylist would do it. Like somebody that considers themselves literally a natural hairstylist, I think that they would have probably done something different. I may be wrong, but if you look at the comments, I'm not the only one saying this. You know, multiple women have said, like, it's crazy that he actually put the relaxer in because there was no cut and trim. And her hair was the longer hair, than I believe, than the first girl. And it looked like she had enough for him to be able to work with, you know. And even if he didn't give her a big chop, he could have trimmed it up real cute made it where she could really wear her hair curly and down. I would have been going through, you know, with some curl creams or gels and stuff and start to really pull those curls out, put her up under the dryer for a little bit, make it set. It's like, that's what I would have did. And I understand that certain people have certain lights um, that they need to be in every day, like the certain lifestyle that you have. But having to relax your hair after just crying about it being relaxed and damaged in the past I don't know if that was like the, the best decision but I'm happy that the women loved seeing their hair you know because what he did was he straight after he relaxed it he straightened it for her which made her realize that her hair is beautiful like she has a nice thick head of hair you know and it was it's not short it's actually pretty long um on her shoulders and stuff and um it looks great, you know, after he straightened it. But I think that the main goal should have been 
if, even if he was going to straighten her hair, I don't think it should have been relaxed to straighten it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this is just my own opinion. Because you don't have to straight, like, relax your hair to straighten it. And if she really wanted to be natural, I mean, if he really wanted her to really rock that natural hair, he would have straightened it without putting the relaxer in. So whenever that, that straighten gets old in a week or two, then she could start putting in curly hair products then she could start doing that but it's gonna take a while you know for a woman to really jump from wigs and straightening and all of that to just now I start wearing my hair natural I know it's not going to be an overnight thing it's definitely not going to happen within the day that you know they were getting their makeover that that mindset was going to change because it takes time but it takes healing from the old trauma instead of putting more trauma on top of that because now that she her hair is relaxed now she has to upkeep it I don't know relaxers and how often you have to get it redone because so many of these chemicals and relaxers are now getting a lot of heat because of what they've been doing to our body internally you know what i'm saying so it's like we're trying to heal from having to condition ourselves to knowing that our hair has to be so much smoother it has to be um straight all the time or you know these different things because just like the dallas cowboy cheerleader she was saying that they really wanted her to have long being able to just swing her hair around you really want to be able to cater towards somebody being happy with what they walk out with you know and I know that they both really did not like their natural hair you know at all but you have to bring that out like you have to bring out the beauty in natural hair bring out the beautifulness in their curls you know what I'm saying and I feel like that would have really did something different but i don't know you guys take a look at it let me know what you guys think because i definitely think that this was something interesting to look at and bring to my channel so go ahead and take a look it's on the all black channel here on youtube i'll put it again right here and i'll make sure i have the link to the show um in the description box so you guys to take a look at it as well comment below what you guys think about this video i would love to hear your thoughts anyways you guys i love you guys all i hope to see you guys in the next video stay tuned for more Bye.